Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about the three big security updates in iOS 9.3.5. So to start off, this update also came completely out of the blue, just like iOS 9.3.4, maybe a week or two back. This once again is a security update, but it's a little bit different and has a bit more of a backstory than iOS 9.3.4, which by the way, you can learn more about by clicking in the top right hand corner of the screen. I wanted to mention that I'm also going to be paraphrasing from a New York Times article, which I will leave linked down below. It has a lot more detail that I'm going to read off and it's really interesting, so down below if you're interested. So there's an Israeli company called the NSO Group that apparently made this malware that is basically able to track almost every function that's important that your phone is able to do. It says read text messages or track emails or phone calls and even your contacts. Now, if you were on a device prior to iOS 9.3.4, this was a zero day exploit, meaning that Apple didn't or really wasn't even aware of this after a public firmware shipped. So I believe I would know for sure all iOS 9 devices would be affected before iOS 9.3.5, but specifically I'll pick on say iOS 9.3.3 or iOS 9.3.4. So the way this malware works is kind of interesting, but also terrifying at the same time. So let's say that you were on iOS 9.3.4, and I think a popular way that users were able to obtain this malware was that they would just get a random text message containing a link. Now on the surface, the link would of course appear to be normal, like a bit.ly. But when you actually clicked on it, it would take you to a random, random web page. Once again, this is how I'm understanding it. Some minor details might be off, but when you would open up that link, you wouldn't see anything. It would just be a normal web page or something inconspicuous. But in the background, this ghost malware would be installed completely away from your view. You would have no idea it was even there installed in the first place or that your phone was affected and then a lot of different functions on your phone were able to be accessed or tracked. It's really scary if you think about it because I don't even know how to check if I would have been affected at some point. I usually don't click on sketchy links in the first place, but I would highly recommend updating to iOS 9.3.5 right away just because you never know. If you're jailbroken, you wanna stay on that older firmware, I guess that's a gamble you're going to have to take to keep your jailbreak. But all in all, if you want the most secure device, please update your phone right now because this has more media coverage. I don't know how many links are out there or really who this will affect in the first place. So if you don't do anything else other than watch this video, just update your phone to iOS 9.3.5 so that you won't be affected by this pretty malicious malware. I've been Sam, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more on iOS 9 and iOS 10 coming very soon. Have a good one and I'll talk to you later.